The Senate held a vote on Thursday to decide whether or not they were going to use their congressional power to cancel President Trump's national security declaration. And uh, President Trump declared a national security emergency back in February in order to receive additional funding for the wall. The Senate only offered the president $1.375 billion instead of $5.7 billion that uh, was actually needed by the president. Uh, the same measure was debated by the House in February and passed the House with a 63 vote difference. Now, according to NBC, Senate votes to end Trump's national emergency as 12 Republicans join in in the rebu rebuke. So 12 Republicans voted against the president national emergency for the wall of the borders there. It's an emergency on the border, folks. Believe me. Believe me, it is. If one illegal alien is coming across, it's an emergency because that's a criminal. The vote ended 59 to the one, 41 with Republicans such as all these traitors of the Republican Party. Listen who voted against the president. Rand Paul, Mitt Romney, Marco Rubio, they all voted against President Trump. Two female Republicans, and you can guess who they are. That woman, Lisa Murkowski, and Susan Collins, dirty, nasty, fake Republicans, also voted against the president. These people need to be voted out, folks. Republicans, if you continue to vote for, and you already knew Mitt, Mitt Romney is a sellout, why would you vote him in anyway? Rand Paul needs to go. Mitt Romney needs to go. Marco Rubio needs to go. You know he's no good. He's a, all of these are betas. They don't want to protect you. They are doing it for personal gain. They are liars. Mitt Romney is the same guy that lost to uh, the pathetic loser Obama. And now they're voting. And see, if the president wasn't there, we would never know that the Republicans really had no, no plan to put a wall up around the border to protect us. It's time to get rid of these fake Republicans. They are no different than the Democrats. No different at all. None at all. And the Bible goes to guys is just texted me. He said, it is payback. All those guys ran against Trump for president. They are no good. Republicans, don't be dumb like the Democrat voters. Look what they are voting in. And they are dumb enough to believe we don't need a wall. How dumb can you be? Republicans got to lead the way because the Democrats are blind and cannot see. The Democratic representatives know what they're doing, but the people are farther for the lies. It's amazing. So uh, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, Rand Paul, Mitt Romney, Marco Rubio, they all got to go. Really. It's the same as having a re uh, Democrats in there. Rhino Republicans must go. After the vote was announced... Uh, and you know Mitt Romney, we, he can even beat out Obama. I could have beat Obama with my left hand, right hand tied behind my back with both hands. Obama is married to Big Mama, Michelle. Uh, anyway, after the vote was announced, Trump ass reassured reporters that the declaration stood, uh, that the declaration stood on legal ground and was totally constitutional. This is from Fox. However, Mitt Romney and the entire Democratic Party believe president, the president is abusing this, his executive order. They didn't say that what Obama did. Here we go. I'm going to be voting in favor of the resolution of disapproval. 
Uh, for me, no, no, this no. is a constitutional question. It's a question about the balance of power that is core to our Constitution. This is not about the President or about border security. In fact, I support border security. I support the construction of a border barrier. Mitt Romney is a liar. He's an evil. Doesn't he look evil? He's totally a liar. I wouldn't want him to be my daddy or my cousin or my uncle or anything to do with my family. That's an evil, nasty man or my senator or anything. This next guy is um, um, Rick Scott, at least telling you the truth about what's happening there. Uh, Florida Republican Rick Scott explained that the Democratic Party is showing pure hatred of the president. As, in my opinion, supported by Mitt Romney um, and those other guys who voted and women, women who voted against the wall. Here we go. The president didn't like this process. He tried. He, you know, tried to get, you know, funding done. He offered other things. He offered to do something with DACA. And the Democrats are just, it's just pure hatred of the president. This is, they just say they don't want the president to have a win. Well, the truth is, Americans need to have a win. That's right. Mitt Romney, Marco Rubio, Rand Paul, Lisa Murkowski, Susan Collins, they all hate the president. And they all hate you. Oh, they're there for power. These people are for open borders. Never mind that these illegal aliens are killing you or whatever. They don't care, folks. You got to look out for yourself. You got to vote these people out. President Trump is prepared to veto the Senate decision. There's a lot of wall going up. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if you want to see it. But we're building a lot of wall, and there's a lot of contracts being let out actually tomorrow and over the next week for additional many, many miles of wall. And we're going to have hundreds of miles of wall up fairly soon. Now, there has been a sharp. Oh, the wall going up. The wall going up in spite of Rubio and all these evil Republicans. The wall going up. Trump also said, I will board a patrol is um, apprehending apprehending thousands of people a month, and they're running out of space. They're apprehending, call it whatever you want to use, whatever you'd like to use, yeah. but they're apprehending thousands and thousands of people a month, and we're catching them and we're keeping them. We're not doing release. Now, at a certain point, we're going to have to do some release because we don't have the bed space, we don't have the the room and we don't have the funds to build this space. It's amazing how the great white hope is doing all he can do to look out for us. And uh, you have these rhino Republicans and Democrats fighting against it. And uh, Republican voters, don't be like the Democrats, Democratic voters. Don't keep voting in right or Republicans that are not looking out for you and not doing what we ask them to do. They work for us. We do not work for them. And if they don't support the president, they need to be voted out. Use common sense. Use common sense. They need to be voted out. <laughs> 